Well, certainly the facilities are hard to match, but back on the water. Let's not forget about the Division 3 fleet. Some great battles going on between the smallest boats here. From Italy comes the EPG Eureka team. New to these waters, but two seconds, a third, and then four wins means they're hot contenders for the division title. But battling them all the way, another former Mactoon Trophy winner, Christoph Vanek, in another locally built boat. And he's taken his North Sales crew to two wins, two seconds, and four third places in his chase for the title. The boat that has to do all the pacemaking in this division, though, is the Scottish Sequest 32 of the Rush Knot team. They're fastest, but they have to get the right start and then get out front to gain sufficient lead to overcome their handicap. Two wins and now three second places in a row sees them right in contention. Yeah, it's very tight, actually. The, um, the last two days have been really good. Winds have been quite light, quite light for our boat, um, which suits the, the guys with the slightly smaller boats better. Um, so we've had a hard time to get away from them. We're the fastest boat in the, in the class, so we have to you know, put, put a few minutes between us. But uh, we've had a good couple of days, actually. Very good. Meanwhile, in Division 1, Patrick DeBarris and Russell Coots got a win under their belt as their new crew boat combination settled in. But Ichiban were still dominating on handicap. In Division 2, though, a seesaw battle was underway for that title. The French in Le Meridian had three seconds and four third places and were charging up the leaderboard. but they just couldn't find the final edge to better their sister boat in the Westin colours of Sultan Areb and Marcus Visa. Westin were clocking up the winds as the new crew combination began to click. David Rostand had a setback with a terrible seventh place and the BMW team were proving late charges as they hit back with a win, two seconds and a third. But on board the Westin, the combination of America's Cup experience and local knowledge was looking good. That local knowledge vested in a young skipper who's literally grown up on these waters, Sultan Areb, a champion in the racing of traditional dows that's still such a major sport locally. I started uh, when I was 12 years old with my father. He was the organizer and my uncle used to participate in dows. So then I was uh, asking my uncle to be with uh, as a crew with them and slow by slow I was building up with, with, uh, with dows. I uh, started as a skipper in Dows in, in 1998, uh, but it's just to be one of the best Dow skippers, you need, I think, more than 12 years uh, in designing your boat and, and designing your own sail. So uh, I guess it's, it's, uh, it helped me to, to, to improve my skills in, uh, in ch doing the boat, uh, doing as uh, uh, Dows and doing the ocean boat. 